party people and welcome to the channel today is going to be an aloe yoga amazon <laughs> dupes video i used to shop at aloe yoga all the time and you know in this economy we can't really afford aloe yoga anymore or lululemon pretty much any expensive activewear brand i have not been shopping from because your girl's broke but i feel like i'm always seeing like the influencer instagram girlies in their cute little aloe yoga sets and i thought i would give myself a little challenge and try to find some pretty close dupes and i feel like i also have to preface this video by saying these aren't going to be exact dupes anytime you're paying twenty dollars versus eighty dollars obviously the quality is not going to be the exact same and i'm honestly tired of influencers and whatnot saying like oh my god like skims dupe or aloe yoga dupe or lululemon dupe or whatever and they're never dupes they're never exact dupes but everyone's like pretending like they're finding these exact dupes on amazon for like ten dollars and i did try to find items that looked almost identical to the aloe yoga items but obviously they're not going to be the exact same quality and there might be like slight differences with like the fabric and whatnot and i just wanted to make this video for the girls and guys out there like me who cannot afford to spend a lot of money at aloe yoga and spend 80 dollars on a singular sports bra it's just not happening in this economy but anyway let's just go ahead and get straight into the video so the first bra that i found a little amazon dupe for was the wild thing bra and this is noted as one of aloe yoga's best-selling sports bras it's 68 dollars full price 68 dollars and this bra is in their airbrush fabric they have five different color options they have black white charcoal cream and like a purpley color that's a limited edition color and like i mentioned this bra is in their airbrush fabric which is 87 percent nylon 13 percent elastane most of the items that i'm duping from aloe yoga are in their airbrush fabric but i will compare all the fabrics of the amazon bras and just see like what the difference is on the aloe yoga website they also have a little recap of their fabric and like a little description and it says their airbrush fabric is in a smoothing matte finish and it's designed for medium intensity workouts yoga runs hikes walks and everyday comfort and like i mentioned the content is 87 percent nylon 13 percent elastane so the bra that i found on amazon is a bra from craze yoga i actually shop at craze yoga all the time the sports bra i'm wearing right now is actually also from crazy yoga sorry it's raining and can you hear that there's like a dumpster truck outside fabulous and honestly of all of the amazon act for brands i've tried i personally feel like crazy yoga is the best quality although they usually do have slightly higher price points than other amazon activewear brands the quality is definitely noticeably better so this sports bra is 26 dollars. i obviously got it in the color black but they have 10 different color options and the fabric here is 72 percent polyester 28 percent elastane and just first impressions looking at this bra honestly i do feel like the quality is pretty good the fabric does look slightly swimsuity and i do own a pair of aloe yoga airbrush leggings so I'm gonna compare the hand feel of the airbrush leggings fabric to all the sports bras and the airbrush fabric is definitely very soft very brushed definitely similar to the lululemon align fabric but honestly I think it's even more brushed and soft and less sweat wicking the amazon bra is definitely more of that sleek sweat wicking fabric rather than this soft brushed hand feel of the airbrush fabric however i feel like looks wise this is very similar to the aloe yoga bra pretty much an exact dupe appearance wise and the aloe yoga wild things bra also does have the racer back so definitely very similar in terms of looks it's just the fabric hand feel is definitely a little bit more sleek and sweat wicking and again this is 26 dollars versus the aloe yoga price of 68 dollars all right you guys we're starting strong with bra number one off the bat i definitely love the look of this bra i think the silhouette's really cute i love the little ruching details happening and honestly the fit on this bra is perfect i'm definitely glad i got the medium in this bra it doesn't feel too tight or too loose anywhere even on this bottom part here like sometimes they can be a little bit loose i feel like it's fitting nice and snug on my stomach and i've noticed a lot with these sort of ruching details they can look very cheap very easily i don't know why it's so difficult to have like a nice little ruched detail but a lot of brands cannot get it right and i feel like the quality on the ruching is really nice i also really like where the bra straps are hitting i feel nice and covered in like the armpit area i definitely don't like when bras cut in too much on the sides and i feel like this bra is hitting at like the perfect spot i also feel like it's hitting at the perfect spot on the neckline it's not too deep or too high and overall it does feel like a nice supportive bra i do feel like i could wear this for medium and high intensity workouts i do have smaller boobs 
boobs, but I feel like even if you have bigger boobs, this bra is nice and supportive, especially because it's also more of like a long line bra. Normally I don't buy long line bras. I usually always buy bras that cut off like under the bust, like just a traditional sports bra, but I feel like you do get a little bit more support with the long line bras. And if you don't know what a long line bra is, it's literally just like a longer bra, or I feel like it's also considered a bra top sometimes. And then the back's just your traditional racer back, nothing too exciting to report on back here. My only call out is it's a little loose at the bottom. There's definitely like a little bit of excess fabric, but it doesn't really bother me. I just kind of noticed it. I feel like we started strong in the first bra. I definitely recommend it. I feel like the fit's great. The quality is pretty good. I know I mentioned that I've bought from this brand previously. I will say the fabric I normally buy from Crazy Yoga is their Butterlux fabric, and it's definitely softer than this fabric, but I definitely prefer the Crazy Yoga Butterlux fabric over this fabric. I don't hate this fabric. It's just not my favorite. The next bra from Allo Yoga that I found a dupe for is the Airbrush Real Bra Tank. This is also noted as as one of Aloe Yoga's best sellers. And full price, it's $74. And it comes in their two core colors, white and black. But it also looks like they have six limited edition colors, some like brighter spring colors. And the dupe I found was this little bra tank from Amazon. This is from the brand The Gym People. And on the Amazon bestseller page, this was number two on the Amazon Activewear bestseller page, which is pretty amazing. And I do check the Amazon bestseller page pretty regularly. And this definitely used to be the number one most popular sports bra on Amazon but since then it has been demoted to the number two bestseller but still obviously still very popular on Amazon this literally has 40,000 ratings so you know it's a very very popular sports bra this is in the color off-white and they do have tons of different color options I just counted and it's about 30 color options which is crazy so obviously they have lots of different neutrals but also lots of like fun pop colors i think i forgot to mention it with the last bra i got that bra in a size medium i did get this in a size small i found that with like bra tanks usually i always need to size down and usually like regular sports bras i get a size medium because i have a very boxy figure and like a wide rib cage but i have noticed with bra tanks they usually do run a little bit bigger so i did get this in a size small and the fabric here is 80 percent polyamide 20 percent spandex and so again the Ali yoga bra $74 this is $23 and I would say this is another like very very close dupe the only difference I really noticed appearance wise is the aloe yoga bra there's like a deeper cut in on the side but honestly I usually don't prefer when bras do that because I'm kind of self-conscious about my like upper body area and you know that little area of fat here I usually try to cover that and I noticed that Ali yoga bra definitely exposes that area more so I honestly think I would almost prefer this silhouette over the Ali yoga silhouette and similar to the first bra this bra definitely is more of that sleek sweat wicking fabric it's definitely not like super brushed and soft and cozy however it kind of depends like where you want to wear these sports bras because if you want more of a sweat wicking sports bra honestly the amazon bras are better and i've even noticed with my aloe yoga airbrush leggings i usually don't like wearing these working out because they're too warm i remember wearing these to pilates and like sweating profusely and just feeling like not super comfortable wearing them these are definitely more of like a lounge legging and i assume the same for their sports bras and the airbrush fabric i will say the back of this bra looks a little different than the aloe yoga bra the aloe yoga one kind of cuts in almost like it's a racer back i'll include a photo but the back of this bra is definitely a little bit different than the aloe yoga bra and just so you know this bra is lined and comes with padding but you know if you need that extra support it is fully lined in the front so next we have the bra tank from the gym people i'm pretty sure and as i mentioned before i did get this in a size small and honestly i'm glad i sized it down with this top i feel like if i would have got a medium it wouldn't have as much like compression that i prefer and i feel like the small is like sucking me in where i feel like i could wear this to a workout i know i mentioned before i don't usually buy like long line bras or bra tops and i feel like that's usually because i just don't like the excess fabric i don't want anything being too loose when i'm working out i always just want like a nice compressive form-fitting bra i do feel like the small fits a little tight right here by my armpit which i don't love but honestly it doesn't 
really bother me because I just like how sucked in I feel. Like honestly, I feel like I'm ready for a run right now. I also feel like, you know, it makes the boobs look nice when you got that extra compression. You can kind of pop them out a little bit, <laughs> get some cleavage going. It definitely fits me nicely on the stomach area. Definitely not too tight or too loose. I feel like it's the perfect fit on my stomach. And I also like where it's hitting, um, where it kind of just meets my leggings. And obviously it comes with bra cups, but I honestly usually always take the bra cups out of my sports bras because I just don't like the way they look, honestly, or feel. I usually always prefer the feel of a sports bra without the bra cups. And for whatever reason, I like the way bras and bra tops look more without bra cups. I don't know what it is. I feel like they make me look thicker of my upper body and I just don't love that. But I honestly don't mind them here because I feel like they're really giving my boobs a nice little push. And then the back is pretty basic, but I don't know. I like it. And I think I also mentioned it before, but I like where the straps are hitting here. The aloe yoga bra cuts in quite a bit in the armpit area. And honestly, I feel like that sort of silhouette doesn't really work on a lot of people. If you want a little bit more coverage in the upper body area like I do, I feel like this bra honestly is better than the aloe yoga bra. But overall, I definitely recommend the sports bra. I feel like the fit is really nice. The quality is really nice. And I do think it is like a functional sports bra. I definitely could wear this for a medium or high impact workout. The next aloe yoga bra, I got a dupe for is the airbrush streamlined bra tank this bra isn't noted as a bestseller but it is noted as back in stock so clearly it's pretty popular if you know they're advertising that it's back in stock the aloe yoga bra is 68 dollars it comes in three color options and the amazon dupe i found i feel like looks so similar when i saw this on amazon i was honestly kind of shocked because i was like how are they not like getting sued by Ali Yoga at this point? And you guys, when I tell you, I spent hours searching Amazon for dupes for the aloe bras. I spent so much time trying to find exact dupes and this one I feel like looks very similar. And what's great about this bra is it comes in a lot of different color combos and the aloe yoga bra comes obviously in the black white color combo, but it also comes in the reverse where it's white ground with the black contrast trim. This bra on Amazon comes in, it looks like about 10, 12 different color options options and they do also have a version that has the white ground with the black trim so you know it matches the other aloe bra this is from the brand move with you and it's called the sleeveless spaghetti strap padded sports bra tank whatever the descriptions on amazon it literally never makes sense and this is 33 dollars so obviously this one's a little bit more on the expensive side for the amazon bras but still comparatively the aloe yoga bra is 68 dollars and this is still only 33 i do feel like it kind of makes sense that this is more expensive though because it has more going on you know there's more more like seeming details and more like aesthetic details to it. And the fabric here is 73% nylon, 27% spandex. And again, going back to the fabric hand feel, more sleek, less brushed, less cozy, similar to the first two sports bras. And then next we have the Move With You sports bra. Honestly, I had high expectations for the sports bra. I loved the white contrast trim. I thought it was so cute, but immediately putting it on, I just, I don't think this silhouette flatters my body type at all. I have very broad shoulders and I feel like the fact that the straps come out super far and this sort of like square neck silhouette, I usually never buy square neck sports bras or square neck tops in general. I feel like it's just, elongating my upper body even more, which is usually what I'm trying to avoid. So it's certainly not doing me any favors. I think this sort of silhouette would be cute on someone else with maybe a smaller frame. Not to say if you have wide shoulders, you couldn't pull this off. I just think personally for me, I don't love it. I also feel like this would probably look better on someone with bigger boobs because I feel like your cleavage would look really nice in this if you had big boobs. But if you have small boobs like me and boobs that are a little bit farther apart, it's giving giving nothing. It's giving flattest chest in the entire world and I don't usually prefer that look. And again, it's kind of closer to that long line bra look where it doesn't cut off under the bust and usually I do prefer a sports bra that cuts off under the bust. I just find them to be more flattering on my body type and usually I just like the fit and the feel of them more. I did get this in a size medium and I do feel like it fits fine. I just don't think this would be the best bra for like medium high intensity workouts just because I feel very exposed up here and I'm definitely not getting a lot of support with these like little spaghetti straps in the back cute not much to say i feel like the back of sports bras are always pretty boring or at least these sports bras really not much going on yeah i had high hopes for this but it was definitely a letdown <laughs> personally i wouldn't recommend this bra but that's 
simply because I just don't think it looks good on me. I think this would probably look a lot better on somebody else, but it's just doing me absolutely no favors. The next bra I'm duping is another sort of like fun, cutesy aesthetic bra. The bra I'm duping from Aloe Yoga is the Airbrush Mesh Corset Tank. So, you know, we're getting a little bit cutesy here. The Aloe Yoga bra is $78. It comes in the two core colors, white and black, but they also have two limited edition colors. And I found this bra on Amazon, which again, I feel like is a very 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 close dupe aesthetically i noticed even the back is like almost identical to the aloe yoga bra with the seaming corset details it's kind of hard to see i feel like it's washed out on the camera right now but i'll try to do a little close up this is from the brand must can m-u-s-t-c-a-n and this is 25 dollars on amazon which is amazing again compared to 78 dollars for the aloe yoga bra also got this in a size medium and this bra comes in four different color options so you have the white black they have a brown and like a taupey color I think and the fabric content here is 73% nylon 27% spandex and I feel like it goes without saying this bra the hand feel is very sleek sweat wicking rather than the brushed cozy hand feel of the aloe yoga airbrush fabric However, aesthetically, she is pretty much spot on for the Aloe Yoga bra. I'm kind of shook by it. Now we have the little corset bra, which honestly, I was not expecting to like this bra that much. I wasn't totally obsessed with the concept of a corset sports bra, but I was intrigued by the idea, so I thought I would try it. And I think it's really cute, especially comparing it to the last bra that I tried on, which truthfully looked awful on me. I feel like this bra is definitely more flattering. Honestly, of all the bras I've tried on so far i think this bra has the best like strap situation like i love where it's hitting on the sides i feel like how it's curving out is really flattering and i also love the neckline and i like the mesh corset situation i feel like the mesh actually makes this bra a lot more workout friendly you definitely got a little bit more airflow going on down here because obviously mesh is like there's holes in it <laughs> so i feel like this is actually really nice for workouts because it kind of minimizes you know you're sweating rather than having like a thick lined fabric at the bottom and i was honestly a little worried that this mesh fabric would be scratchy but it's not scratchy at all it's not the nicest mesh quality i've ever felt but it's definitely comfortable and it's not scratchy or itchy or anything like that there's not too much going on with the back of this bra but i thought i would try to show the seaming details which i feel like are kind of unique yeah i feel like you can see that right and i did buy this bra in a size medium but honestly i think it might be a little bit more flatter if I would have got it in a small. I honestly don't know though if the small would be too small because the medium overall definitely fits nicely, but I feel like I want more of like a sucked in corset look, sort of like the second bra that I tried on, which that bra I did buy in a size small, and I feel like I want this bra to be more of that look where it's like sucking me in like an actual corset would. The other thing I noticed is this bra didn't come with any bra cups. I can't remember if they came in the packaging, but they definitely didn't come in the bra. And honestly, I feel like this bra kind of needs bra cups because it only enhances that more corsetti boob enhancing vibe like i just find it weird it didn't come with bra cups inside the bra and i think it actually would be cuter with bra cups but yeah kind of wish i would have sized down here for more of that like sucked in corset look and the last aloe yoga bra we are duping is the airbrush figure short sleeve bra the aloe bra is 68 dollars it also comes in the core white and black but they do have one limited edition color which is kind of like a sea foamy green color and i did find a very similar bra on amazon from the brand aox jocks and aox jocks is actually a brand i shop from all the time they have a cross front sports bra that is literally my favorite sports bra in the whole world even compared to all of the lululemon sports bras i've bought like all of the expensive sports bras in my closet the brand aox jocks has my literal number one favorite sports bra in the whole world but just thought i would know that i do love this brand and i feel like it's a very reputable brand and i shop from them all the time and this bra is $29 versus the aloe yoga bra that's $68 and I did get this in a size medium right now it looks ginormous however I feel like every time I say that I try it on and it fits me perfectly and I'm like <laughs> clocked myself but it looks really big like really big so I definitely probably should have got a small here but we'll see we'll see and I will say this bra is pretty much exactly like the aloe bra in the front but the back is pretty different I honestly think the back of this bra is a lot cuter than the aloe yoga bra the aloe yoga bra is just completely closed in the back like 
there's no cutouts or any details it's just like a closed back whereas this one has a cute like twist on the top and a band at the bottom and a very open back which i think is really cute but it's not an exact dupe obviously for that reason but i still included it because the front is super similar and i honestly think the back of this bra is cuter than the aloe yoga bra and this bra comes in five different color options there's a black white yellow and then some like pink colors and the fabric content for this bra is the most similar to the aloe yoga fabric content this bra is 75% nylon 25% elastane and just to remind you the aloe yoga airbrush fabric is 87% nylon and 13% elastane so the amazon bra just has a little bit more elastane rather than nylon and i can honestly tell with the hand feel the hand feel on this bra is definitely closer to that like brushed soft hand feel i mean this one is definitely noticeably better quality than the other bras which i'm kind of surprised to say because like i mentioned the first bra from crazy yoga usually i feel like crazy yoga is the best quality but in terms of like the hand feel and comparing it to the airbrush fabric this one is definitely the most similar it definitely has a softer more brushed hand feel all right you guys and now we have the last sports bra honestly i was gonna say this one might be my favorite but there's definitely a couple little issues i have with it i did buy this in a size medium and i definitely feel like i should have got it in a size small overall the entire fit just feels a little bit big and i feel like it's not necessarily the most flattering because of that i think if it was a little bit more form-fitting and compressive it would like make my upper body look a little bit more petite but overall i just feel like there's a little bit of excess fabric that i don't love although i do feel like the fabric hand feel is really nice i definitely think that so far this is the best feeling fabric and the best quality fabric and the sports bra is double lined so definitely getting a decent amount of support but it is a little bit thick and uncomfortable because of that i feel like when i'm working out i don't necessarily want a lot of layers and things like that because i want like a full range of motion especially because i usually do pilates classes and i just feel like there's a lot of fabric happening however i do feel very very supported also i just like raised my arms and there's definitely some pulling on the armpit so they definitely needed to like carve out the armpit seam a little bit more not sure if i got the size small if that would fix the issue but so far it is like slightly uncomfortable when you lift your arms and there's just some like pulling um in the armpit but i do like the little curve here the aloe yoga bra also has that little curve and i think it's just a little cute detail definitely not doing anything for my cleavage my very minimal cleavage i have other sports bras that i own in my closet that i feel like do so much more for my body type but i don't know none of these bras are really like doing the most for me although i do think the back of the sports bra is super cute i love the cutout and like honestly everything going on back here of all the bras this one's definitely the most interesting in the back which i like and i feel like it overall makes the bra more comfortable because it's a little stuffy in the armpit area but in the back it's like very open and airy so if you're working out you know you won't get as hot and sweaty but yeah i definitely recommend this bra i think it's super cute maybe size down if you're in between sizes because i do feel like this runs a little big but overall the quality is really 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 nice honestly of all the bras this one's probably the best quality all right you guys well that was everything i was literally fighting for my life trying to get through that video the daylight hours are evading me and i literally felt like i was talking at the speed of light but anyway thank you so much for watching please comment like and subscribe it genuinely means the world to me for anybody watching any new viewers or any longtime subscribers i just genuinely appreciate all of you so so much but yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you all in the next video Bye.